The Chancellor of Pudrykel's reborn. The whims of fate are inscrutable as ever. Even so, the big picture is starting to come together at last. Including the reason why my father would entrust so much authority to him. Indeed. Sounds like Elisa's father and George would have quite a bit of baggage too. Yeah. The plank workshop in the ebb night. It was even more dreadful than anything we could have expected. The Chancellor's true intentions aside, we finally got in a glimpse into the cause of the Empire's woes. You're right, this is a real bombshell. But the rivalry of the Seven might just be our avenue to fight back against the curse. Right, thanks to Roselli and everyone, I've sealed my resolve to go through the, with the remaining rivalries. You have to keep moving forward for Vermilion and for Valimar. Absolutely, we're with you. We'll fight with everything we have until the very end. Right, as Class 7. Seems all of this has really helped you move forward in more ways than one. And if the Lionheart Emperor is to make an appearance in this story, then I can't very well let myself be outdone by him now, can I? That's right, I'm glad we were finally able to find a role for ourselves in all of this. Are you sure you don't mind providing Toe with support, I mean? I don't, don't you worry about a thing, we've been studying the terminal controls little by little. Yes, we've a bit read the manual inside and out, I'm sure we'll be able to provide some assistance when you need it. <laughs> it really is amazing how you two got used to everything in no time at all. Elise, your highness, I'll be counting on you from now on, okay? You got it. Sheesh, you really can't underestimate those two. <sighs> Everyone from the branch campus is going all out, so we'd better keep up the pe with the tempo up the tempo with them. Now, it's about time we put together our itinerary. I should think our next objective is pretty clear now. Right, Grandmother showed me their situation before we left. Looks like two Divine Knights and their Awakening have taken position at separate shrines. The Pal Palantinan Knight is the, at the Draco Shrine in Sutherland, while the Archer Knight is at the Stellar Shrine in Crossbell. We've probably been making preparations for the rivalries, given that the war is about to start. Well, I guess nobody can accuse the Maiden or the Jaeger King of having a poor work ethic. I'm sure we're all raring to go right now, but we've spent half the day at Luna Shrine already. I say we pick just one spot and give it our uninvited attention. Agreed, in attention to the shrines, I'd also like to check in on the surrounding area. So which place are we gonna hit up first? My lord is in the crowd spell, so naturally my interests lie there. Considering distance, it might be better to start with the bars of the Draco Shrine and work our way east. Good point, it was off all that agree of road east of Palm right. So once we're ready, let's head over there and start our reconnaissance. Sounds like a plan. By the way, several requests came through not long ago, of course. Now we're back to this. <laughs> if you could spare some time to take care of those, I and the requesters would be greatly appreciated. Understood. Back to questing. In that case, I suppose it's time we mobilize once again. Yes, and there's Class 7 and Radiant Wings both. With the creators too, the range of places we can explore is going to expand quite a lot. Before taking on the rivalries themselves, we need to do what we can to help people in each area. Alvin, oh, one last thing. I just spoke with Yuna and Kurt. The next time you go down to the surface, would you please take me with you? Uh, you want to come along. But there's the ship's operation to sit oversee and, uh, wait, I get it. Uh, at least the others are going to help out, so we'll have to some leeway to work with there. After all, there are some cases where contacting everyone is going to be a lot easier from the surface. I'd be away from actual combat, but I think I could help you out with my orders, so what do you say? Understood, we weren't planning to do any more than scout the Draco Shrine today anyway. Just don't overdo it, Toa, okay? Right, I won't. Even if it's just for a little while, I won't let you down. Oh, when I sent our latest batch of requests to the terminal, be sure to give it a good look when you have a moment. You bet, thanks. You know, do you know, music, cut, ash. The situation in each location has completely changed. You can now visit the City of Orders and its surrounding roads. 
So I will be accompanying your party. She won't directly participate in combat, but she'll provide you support. Celine's order. When Emma is in your party, Celine's Brave Order Midnight Onyx will be available. Huh, cool. Five bonding points. Ah, we're back to the original style of things. All right. Also. There we go. Uh, so who we got where? Oh, the final Stara one is in the conference room. Final Muse one. Final Laura one. And final Toa. Along with Alfred. Dang, we got so many final love interests. Alright. I mean, I say final. It probably isn't. But I mean, we got multiple hearts. Why can't I teleport? Probably because of this. Three, alright. Herculean tasks, second lieutenant Kayla managed to get a raid on the location of Hercules' fifth squad. Oh, so her brother again, alright. Avon Hills, this time I'll meet you at Hotel Atencia on Odeus. Radio stars were born, there's been disaster, we've run into a problem with Radio Trista. If you can help, give you details in person, monk. I want to believe, a larger than life monster has been spotted on the banks of Lake Gala. We would suspect this is the same life one witnessed in Milstante, having now dragged itself out of the water. Gladiosaurus. I mean, hey, this might actually be the cryptid we, uh, saw. Maybe. Okay. I guess we're gonna work with Sarah and work our way down. That's one, two, three, four, exactly five hearts. All right. Yeah, I really should be ending the recordings here, but uh, my voice isn't dying yet. I can keep going. Yeah, that sounds good, thanks. I'll see you later, Governor Regnitz. Huh. Uh, Rain, looks like you caught me at a pretty awkward time. But there's nothing going on between Marcus, Dad, and me. Though he does have that cool and gruff thing going on. Huh, I didn't even consider that, but good to know, I guess. Are you heading off somewhere then? Yeah, I'm heading off to a certain grave. Hopefully it works out this time. Is she talking about? Can we go to two hearts now? Mind if we go together? Heh, <laughs> of course not, Rain. We'll have to order this okay. After Sarah and Rain received a certain something from Governor J Regnitz and Ordis, they headed to the sp same, same spot in Ling Dark Canyon they visited the last time. Yeah, and this time I'm not fighting, right? There's a flag from Naval Fortress, right? It'll make a fitting tribute for Co Colonel Valestine. Good thing Go Governor Regnitz kept it aside for us. There may be black plumber grass here, but apparently it's not interfering with the spirit veins. That's good to know. You want to help Reen? Sure. Here goes the grass. Oh. A cleansing flame. Heh, looks like you found the way forward. You got to put some old ghosts to rest too, thank you for that. Be careful out there, I'd hate for you to die before things get re really started. Getting interesting. Can't read. Same to you guys. Next time we meet, it'll probably be his enemies, though.
See, about what happened before. You know what, I figured I was just hearing things. I mean, my dad really did drop in to see how his beloved daughter is doing these days. If he did, he'll know I'm into a totally different kind of guy now. Huh. Oh? Come on, for real? You really are hopelessly dense sometimes, you know that. Unless someone else snatches you up soon, I won't count myself out of the running just yet. <laughs> All right. Your bond with Sarah strengthened. You shared a special moment with Sarah. She's maxed out in both ways. So I'm assuming the only way I can possibly get a true ending with one of the girls is if I actually get both hearts. And I'm pretty sure I'll have every single one of the girls have both hearts. So, it's just going to come down to who I actually want to hang out with at this point. Oh man, I just realized Celine doesn't have a uh, heart. Feels bad. But we should get an extra bond point that we can use to hang out with her, so it works out. Next up is Muse in the game room. Oh, we're going to be playing a game with her, all right. Or she'll be playing with us instead. Who knows? Oh, it's it's doing the same thing as if we were actually at the place ourselves. The spring in Aaron Village. Means bathing clothes. Kurt's bathing clothes. Yuna's... What? 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 No way can we run around this game wearing just a towel. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is that a thing that we can do? It will just remove all the serious stuff that, uh, you know, is going on if they're just all wearing nothing but towels. <laughs> oh my. You know what? Let us see how unserious this actually is. Let's do Muse's while she's wearing nothing but a towel. <laughs> oh Jesus. Muse, what are you doing here? Uh, Muse. Uh huh. So, you looks like I lost myself in thought there for a bit. Maybe it's because things are finally a little less tense. Are you talking about the Luna Shrine? No, the Pentacle, right? There's a part of me that would want to say it was reckless, but I'm just glad you made it through safely, really. Thanks, Instructor. Though the necessity of Operation Meal Mirage as a backup plan hasn't changed. Thanks to the Radiant Wings and everyone else, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. And the fact of the matter is, I also need to recharge my batteries for you, Instructor. I mean, you're doing just that by just being in a towel, so... Considering the circumstances, maybe I should spend some time with her. What circumstances, Reed? The fact that she's literally in a towel and nothing else? I get what you mean. Maybe I'll ch take the opportunity to charge my own batteries a bit as well. Want something to drink, Musial? It'll be my treat. Oh, I can't think of anything else I'd rather spend my time with Instructor. So how's Reen gonna charge his batteries? Is he gonna plug into an outlet somewhere? Maybe. The lounge is great and all, but maybe you could indulge me and listen to a request. There's a place I'd like to go and I'd think that this is the perfect chance. Why not? Lori can take the opportunity to gather some information too. I wonder how fighting would look in so with it when they're just wearing a towel. <laughs> Rain and Muse left the ship and headed towards Ortis. After some quick intel gathering, they ended up on the southern coastal road. Well, this kind of uh, ruined the whole of only being in a towel thing, but hey, she's in a bikini now, so it's fine. I'm glad the weather's so lovely. 
I don't think I've ever been this far down the Order's Coastal Road. But the beach you guys went to is something somewhere else, right? Yes, it's a spot popular with locals and tourists alike, or so I heard. This right here is a private beach belonging to the Cayenne family. The things the way they are, and the one just felt like using either beach for a while now. Of course, that's certainly good for news for us at the moment. What do you say, Instructor? How about we make the most of our time alone? Alright, just this once. <laughs> Take that. Uh, now you've done it. Hey, don't run, you'll trip. Over here, Instructor, catch me if you can. Well, yeah, they're doing that whole catch me if you can thing, huh? <laughs> Dang, nice outfit. Really nice. Oh, what's this? Instructor, look, it's, it's a pretty seashell. Seems like they've piled up a little since last time, huh? But it seems it feels different this time somehow. Uh, what's wrong music? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired out. It's been ages since I last let loose like this. Oh, uh, yeah. You're like a kid on summer vacation. I guess nothing beats coming back to your hometown, huh? It's special, I'll give you that. I have so many memories of this place. My parents and I used to come here together all the time until they passed. Oh, that's right. You said you'd lost them in an accident at sea. What kind of people were they? I am told my grandfather on my father's side of the family was known for being hard and merciless. My father, on the other hand, was a very kind man. Despite this, he was a good leader and a clear successor to the Cayenne Dukedom. As for my mother, from what I can remember, she was always very cool-headed, like no problem was too much for her. She used to travel all around La Mer on business. While she was away, Father would teach me to play all kinds of games, chess, cards, even an eastern one called Shogi. Oh geez, Shogi, huh? That's when my talent started to show itself. You've been able to analyze the world like a game for that long. Uh-huh. It must be because of my honor heritage, like Roselia said. Maybe playing with me so much was my father's way of teaching me how to use his power. Mother played a lot of games with me too, that's why I picked up my head for strategy. The kimono I wore before was originally a gift to my mother from her father. It was a little too big for me, but I had some alterations made. They sound like great parents. Yes, they were. After they died, my uncle shipped me off to Saint Australia, and that was that. But when I thought of the world as a game like they taught me, I felt like I was still connected to them. I guess that's why I analyze things so much. I can see it, how that would happen. But you know, you don't need to do that all the time, right? Those skills aren't the only thing. Your parents left you. You're right. I may have been young, but I still remember the boundless love they showed me. And I felt that same affection from Elise, Self, and my instructors, Yuna, everyone, really. I plan to put together from... The plan I put together for Mill Mirage caused a lot of suffering, but maybe it wasn't all that bad. It le led me to Class 7 after all. If I had found you all just a moment later, I might have lost what really made me human. Music. You're not alone anymore. Please don't ever forget that. Class 7, Elise, Alpin, Tita, General Le Guin, Vita. The list goes on. You've got plenty of people who care about you, me included. Be worried over something, it's a good sign. Now take it as a reminder that you didn't abandon your emotions completely. If you do have problems, come tell us about them. We'll do whatever we can to help. Injectivine. If you really mean that, there is something I'd like to ask you to do. Will you hold on to me? My good luck charms for me. Your good luck charms. Here, take a look. Oh, are those the bullets you? They are. I brought them with me from when I gave the order to crash the pentacle into their other airship. They were reminded of how we made it out before we could get caught up in the ship's destruction. And of how Operation Mill Mirage could have ended in the worst possible way but didn't. I'd like you to have them at least while we're both part of Class 7. 
All right, I'll be glad to hold on to them for you. I hope one day you'll know for sure you'll need... I hope one day you'll know for sure you'll ne never need to use them again. I won't be returning them until then. Are you okay with that? Of course, that's fine with me. Speak. Kiss. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hell yeah! Muse is the first of his students to actually kiss him. <laughs> okay, so now he's been kissed by Elisa, Laura, and Muse. He was only kissed on the cheek by Sarah and Claire. So yeah, Muse is the third girl to kiss him on the lips. <laughs> she finally got you, Rain. Amusey, is that what you were after all this time? You shouldn't leave yourself so open to attack and shut there. Think of this as a bit of payback for the other day and two months ago. Doing our field exercises as well. <laughs> Those bullets would have saved me a great deal of pain. It's only fair I get a bit of pleasure in return, no? With this, no matter what happens with Mule Mirage, I know I'll be able to keep myself together. Music. You're asking a lot, but I'll overlook it this once. Just don't get used to it, all right. You and I are still teacher and student. Whatever you say, I won't tell anyone if you don't. And sharing a secret makes things all the more exciting, wouldn't you say? She's got me there. I guess I'll just have to go along with it. <laughs> Success. So can I get that outfit? After a while longer, Rain and Muse packed up and returned to the courageous too. Come to think of it, since there are two bullets, I'd say you owed me a second kiss. Don't push your luck. Moment Muse strengthened. Shared a special moment with Muse. She is now two hearts instead of just one. Kinda sucks though that I don't have actually have that outfit. Much rather she she wear that than you know. Just this. I don't think there's any swimsuit type outfits I could actually get either. Feels bad. But yeah. Alright. Next up on the list of lovers in chest is... Second floor. I guess I'll do Alpha next and I'll end it on Toa. Then I might end the three episodes here. But I don't get stuck on stuff. What's that you're reading there, your highness? Reen, it's a letter addressed to me here. Take a look. Alvin, I need to speak with you. I'll be waiting at what remains of the field exercise camp near Heimdall. You may bring exactly one other person along to escort you. This letter. It has the seal of the golden stallion on it, and whoever wrote it called you by name. Indeed, they must have jumped through quite a few hoops to have it delivered to the ship. It could be nothing more than a prank, but naturally my curiosity is piqued. There's only so many people who could have sent a letter like this. What should I do? It's possible this might be a trap. Let's go. Allow me to serve as your escort to your highness. You do want to go find out what this is all about, right? You know me too well, Reen. Are you sure it's alright though? What if this is some form of trap? It'll be okay. I'll be the right there to protect you no matter what happens. Let's get to Velma and head on over. Rean and Alfin awaited their chance before using Velma's warp function to infiltrate the city limits of Heimdall. They then made their way through the uncannily quiet roads at Old Field Exercise Camp on the South Ostia Highway. Hey, well, what kept you? I had a feeling it'd be you. Yep, it was him. I 
Wait, I see you, you've come along as Alfin's personal escort. I must apologize for the untitled display you were forced to witness yesterday. Your Highness, enough beating around the bush, Cedric. Why send me a letter like that so suddenly? Well, tell me, was this all just a ploy to get Rain to come? Nothing of the sort. I gave up on Rain a long time ago. We'll have to face each other in the rivalry someday after all. You're the one I wanted to see, Alfin. I'll get right to the point. I want you to leave the Crimson Wings. Go to Ordis. You'll be safe there with Mother until this all blows over. So that's it. As if I could ever do something so preposterous. How can you expect me to sit idly by while all of it is allies fight tooth and nail too? What does it matter? Either way, you do you honestly believe you can make a difference? The real world is nothing like the confines of the palace walls. But against the Saint Destroy, you don't stand a chance on your own. Her Highness has become an infallible member of the Courageous Two's crew. We have no reason to doubt her abilities. Perhaps I was overestimating things. I don't think you're entirely helpless. But it's a big ship and there are plenty of capable Thor students on board as it is. It's not going to drop out of the sky just because you decide to leave. Perhaps you did manage to find a purpose during the Civil War as a symbol of the Imperial family. But there exists no such place for you in the squabble between the human god and male mirage. You know that, don't you? This has gone beyond just a mere domestic conflict. This is a war that could very well engulf the entire world as we know it. The fury that's been about, about to be unleashed is greater than you could possibly imagine. It's only a matter of time before you, Olivert, and Crimson Wings get caught in a crossfire. And once that happens, there won't be any last minute miracles left to save you. Vane, I'm sh surely you see where I'm coming from here. I know you care about the least every bit as much as I do about Alfin. It's a warship really any place for them. Don't we owe it to our sisters to get them away from all this fighting? Well. Means too kind to say it, but the fact is you're not helping Alfin. You're not a soldier, you're not even a military academy student. You have no business being anywhere near a battlefield. Think of Mother, have you, having you close by would be such a comfort to her. Well, you could go and be with Father before his surgery, though even that's a little too close to the front lines for my liking. That's enough said, Drake. Thank you, I know this is all your way of sharing, showing me you care. Of course I care. You're my sister, my kith and kid. When we were children, you always stood up for my sake. Nobles who seemed me too weak to be their heir... To be heir, commoners who fawned blindly over your intellect and grace. You defended me to all of them alike. I was so grateful and at the same time so, so frustrated. But now our roles have reversed. Sanford is strong to protect the weak the way it should be. You're right. Sometimes I hate just how powerless I've been. But I'm not going to use that as an excuse to give up on myself. I'm sorry, Cedric, it's taken me this long to bring myself to say that. When your health failed you after the war, there was nothing I could do. Then somehow Chancellor Osborne saved you. That was when your lust for power began. You were like a different person. As time went on, the change in you started to frighten me. I feel so guilty for not being there when you needed me most. I just didn't know how I could face you anymore. Perhaps a part of me felt like you'd grown up and left me behind too. Alfred. But look away, that's gotten us now. You loved our family more than anyone, yet did nothing to protect Father and all of it from their fates. And I'm no better for letting you. Stop it. Stop it right now. I will not. We need to talk about this now more than ever. You only got meal mirage, none of it means a single thing. The one thing that's always mattered to me, to us, above all else, is family. By the Crimson are Radiant, I have no intention of leaving these wings. I'll find the strength to support both Oliver and Reen, and even to stand against you should it come to that. Princess Alfin. I'm sorry you feel that way, Alfin. This will be- what's your final chance? Prince Cedric. We'll put an end to this next time we meet permanently. Alfin I hope you don't come to regret this path you've chosen. Cedric, wait. Father's surgery is coming up. Is it too much to ask that you pray for him? 
the whole family bands together. Adios is sure to hear us. Majestically said your highness. It's conviction like that that makes you depart with the radiant wings of all of Erebonia. I'm sorry, Reen. I know I went too far, but I had to say something. So why... Why did things have to turn out like this? In spite of it all, he's still my brother. I'm the closest family he has. Exactly. You reached out to him in a way only you could. You may not realize how right you were just yet, but he'll come around eventually. Kurt and I will make sure of it. Reen. Reen. Oh, Reen. <laughs> Reen and Alfin use Valmar to escape the city limits and return to the courageous too. The bond with Alfin strengthened. Special moment to Alfin, and she's, she's maxed out. Well, we got two more to go. Laura and Toa. Laura's already kissed us once, so who knows how far she'll go next. Huh, that should do j just about it for now. What are you up to, Laura? I mean, I was just restocking ointment among a few of our other supplies. That said, there are actually a few things I'd like to take care of before we head to the sanctuary if possible. That is to say, I'd like to head down to Brioni Island to finish up my training. I see you're preparing for a possible showdown with the Viscount then. That's right, Father is sure to be waiting for us. As such, it's my duty as successor to an RC name to improve myself as much as I humanly can. And now may be the only opportunity I'll have to do so. Laura, you needn't worry so much over me, Rain. All that matters is that my fa father made it through alive, no matter what state he may find himself in. When the time comes to face him, I will prove I can rise to the challenge. I swear it's on the blade he himself bequeathed upon me. So that's why she finished up. So she's finishing up her training. That's probably something I should be thinking about myself. Would it be okay if I accompanied you, Laura? We'll need all the training we can muster if we hope to get through this rival coming rivalry after all. I see. I don't mind, of course, having you there should make no thing things no trouble at all. Let's be off then. Really? I mean, last time you guys kissed. Can only imagine how far you'll go now. Reen and Laura took Valamore to Brioni Island. They decided to finish their training with a no-holds-barred sparring match. They set off to find an appropriate spot. Oh? Reen, what's the matter? This present sits. It is impossible. It's the same as what happened with Roselia. Oh god. No way, it's that thing! Look. That's the thing we fought in old schoolhouse, Loa Erebonius. Well, this is definitely gonna be some match. I was told a number of them appeared in Heindel alongside the Kral. But it's huge. How could something like that have been there without us? No, it can't be. Could it be due to the septarian shell buried here? I think so. I mean, it's fra a fragment of something from before the Great One was formed. Everything that's going on with the Operation Jormungand could have set off a reaction between the shell and the spirit veins. What the? Where's it going? It looks like it's heading for Ordis. What insane destructive power. We can't let something like that reach Ordis. Maybe it's because we're in this subspace, but I can't sense Valimar. 
The orchestra isn't connecting either. We won't be able to get in touch with the others for a while. We'll just have to stop it ourselves then. It won't be easy, but so long as I'm with you, I know we can stay in the chance. Together, we'll find a way. You're right. Let's go, Laura. The battle against the giant lower-air Devonius raids long and hard. We and Laura made strategic use of the terrain and gradually pushed the Blythe back. Working closely and sync, they continued their onslaughts until finally. Termination slash dusk! Hey, he said it! A taste of wrath of the saved. See? They use their s crafts to finish it off. I'm not the only one that uses s crafts, so I tend to do it a bit too much. Ah. Huh. Oh, looks like that did the trick. Nice job, Laura. I knew you had it in you. Your technique just now was very bit as every bit as good as the Viscount's better even. You think so? It didn't feel quite right to me. Maybe I really have taken a step closer to my father. Ha, ha, ha. Laura! So, it's just so bizarre to see how far we've come. A single lower air bonus was almost more than an entirety of Class 7 could handle once. But now, just the two of us can defeat one. I never have thought fighting for someone with all your heart would grant as much power. Laura. I will neither run nor hide from my feelings. I love you, Reen. Hey, hey, hey! All right. Not just as a dear friend, or as a fellow swordsman walking the same path, but with my whole heart. It's all right. You don't have to give me an answer. This is hardly the time or place for romance. There are other more important things that demand our attention. We must win the rivalries and have to surpass my father. To do that, we need to decide, dedicate ourselves to improving our skills. You're right, I'll be counting on you from here on. And another one has finally said she's in love. Rina and Laura retreat to the lodge to patch up their wounds. After a short rest, they return to the ship together. All right. And she's maxed out completely. There should be one more, right? Yeah, just tell, uh... Then after we do one of the quests, we should get an extra bond point for Selene. Oh, tell, uh... It's time for you to finally tell Reen how much you care about him. Tell her, what are you doing out here? Uh-huh, well, I... Oh, are you going down to the surface? If so, I'll get things ready right away. No, it's okay. There's no need to rush. I'm just wondering if there was something on your mind. Seems like it. Well, it's not really a big deal or anything. But now that you think I'm acting weird, you're not going to let it go, are you? I'd rather not worry you so. The truth is, some information came through from the special support section. It's about the airship's incident to crash 17 years ago. Oh. It happened on the route between Crossbow and North Ambria. It seems like it's a pretty desolate area, at least in terms of people. Well, I wonder if we might see something if we look down on it from North Highlands. That's an idea. I'm also curious about what happened back then. Maybe I can be of some help to Toa. Yes. Hey, Toa, here's an idea. How about we go to North Highlands together? Huh? I've actually been discussing this with guys for a while now. It sounds like it's going to be one of the major fronts of the war, so doing some recon would be smart. And my cover is under repair, so guys had ha kind of given up on the idea. But we should make just manage just fine if we have Valamar take us there through the spirit path. But that would definitely work, but aren't you really busy, Reen? I think this could lead to some really useful information for the Radiant Wings. I'm sure guys, once to visit his family and it's not like bringing you along would cause things to run any less smoothly. In fact, the way to the opposite, having you along with it would be a great help, what do you say? Well... Tone was initially a little hesitant to the idea of coming along, but Vane's insistence eventually won her over. 
They met up with Gaius and with Valamor's assistance took the spirit path there. Well, we really made it. Heh, <laughs> I knew we could count on reading Valamar. The defenses are still down, guys. You should get going. Right, I'll be back after I check in with my family. I'll leave the repeater to you, Toa. Of course, give your family my best. Yeah. Man, it's been a long time since I've been in North Island. Okay, guess we'd better get to, uh, to setting up the repeater. Yeah, maybe we should set it up behind a boulder where it can't be seen after the, from the watchtower. The airship went down just beyond this mountain range, right? Yeah, and no man's land right between Adipony and Calvert. The files said all evidence of the incident had been covered up. It seems there's nothing left there. Oh. Irene, thank you. I think I'd feel a bit better now. As a kid, I was pretty unhappy that I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to my parents. But now I feel like I can finally move on. You're lying. Huh? Come on, how long have we known each other? You can't hide it from me. You're always putting others before yourself, even more than I do. But right now, there's no one here but you and me. For once, just let be honest and open about how you're feeling. Reen. Uh -huh. Do I look that down about it? It was 17 years ago. I was only four at the time, so I barely remember them at all. This blurry image is of people who I guess must have been my mother and father. Grief isn't determined by time. Besides, that's not all, it, is it? Grief isn't the only thing you're holding back. It's okay, just let it out. Reed, why would you say all this to me? I've been trying so hard not to let it get to me, but now... The war is just a few days away and my uncle's been drafted. Hundreds of thousands of lives, maybe even millions, are hanging in the balance here. I was so happy when Angie came back, I could, could have cried. But George is with the, still with the enemy, and there's no guarantee he'll change his mind anytime soon. Then there's Crow. It seems like it's impossible for him to not di disappear, disappear forever when this is all over. We don't even know for sure what'll happen to you, Veen. Yeah. Maybe my body's linked to the Great Twilight, and well, we all know about my heart. I might be headed towards the same fate as Crow. Then why? Why are you making me speak from the heart? I've been at my limit so long, trying to keep it in the whole time. Crow, George, my parents, my grandfather... Everyone I've ever loved has disappeared. If I lose you too, I... I can't. It's okay, Toa, I'm here. I don't know what the future holds, but I promise you I won't give up until the very end. So please. Oh, you're impossible, Reen. Even if it's just an empty promise, I want to hear you say it. You bring me all the way out here. Hold me in your arms and still... Still... It's not fair! It's just not fair! The speech feels kinda nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Veen. I've been holding all that in for a long time. I never realized just how stubborn I am. Angelica and Crow noticed when it, what you were going through. Everyone was worried, so I took the liberty of doing something about it. I did show you a pretty pathetic side of me before graduation, after all. All right. Eh, I almost forgot about that. It was all Crow's fault, then he came back and acted like it was nothing. Yeah, his behavior still bothers me a bit. Huh. 
It looks like we both embarrassed ourselves in front of one another, huh? Fate must have brought us together, huh? I consider it an honor. Hey, Reen. I mean it, you know? Every word. What, about the fact that everyone you love disappears? A.K.A. and Reen as well? Huh. It's your fault I'm saying this, you know. I didn't have the courage to bring it up until now. You brought me all the way out here and made me spill my guts. But at least I don't have anything left to be afraid of after that. Tawa. I <laughs> think of it as payback. I still got plenty of flowers. Want to go off with them together. I'm sure my parents will appreciate it. Sure, I'd be glad to. When Skies returned, the group offered another prayer. Afterward, they used the spirit path to return to the courageous too. The upon with Toa strengthened. It was special. It had shared a special moment with Toa. Max out. All right, all the girls are now done except for Celine, which I can't do until I get another bond point, which I should get after I finish defeating the monster. So, yeah. Let's go to all the places and see if there's anything new around here. If not, obviously I'll be cutting out everything. Nothing here. Oh, hey, Toval paid me a secret visit just earlier. He was doing much better than I thought he'd be. It was such a relief, but he really does l like to cause a scene, huh? Ah, uh, Toval showed up here. Yeah, I used to provide some assistance to the guild St. Ark branch back in the day, so Tovel and I were, are well acquainted. The branch may be gone, but there still needs to be somebody to sort the help request and provide weapons to the braces. We've also been collaborating with the Legram branch in certain cases. I see, that makes sense. I heard about your situation. I can't do much, but I hope to fully support you in the braces. If you ever need weapons or armor, you're always welcome in my store. Thank you very much. I mean, it's not like I need anything. They don't sell anything on it either. Asian break damage plus 50%, dang. Huh. That does actually sound kind of nice, to be honest. Hello, sub-objective. Sub you want to enter the mansion, yes? Work with Sions. I was under the impression that you were in hiding. Apologies for the intrusion. I need to have a little confidential discussion. Would you mind terribly if I had it here? A confidential discussion, you say? Make yourself comfortable. This is your mansion, after all. This golden-haired young lady, I don't think I've had the pleasure. It's nice to meet you. I'm Lucy Sayland, secretary to the Grand Prince of the Principality of Remiferia. Today I'm speaking on behalf of the Grand Prince. Remiferia? I do have some information on the movements of the country. I thought they had joined an alliance with the Mildeen to take part in the war. I wonder why they're negotiating with High Hearts. So that means Remifaria is still keeping themselves open to other options. Marquis Ballard, would it be possible to speak with you? I know that his lordship is well informed of the situation in all aspects. I hope you'll use your great wisdom to help advise us on our best way forward. Alright, Wilhelm. You have an abundance of experience when it comes to political maneuvering, this is easy. Well, of course, I will definitely offer you the best advice I possibly can. Do you mean it? Thank you so much. Oh, jeez. Good, uh, come now. Time is of the essence. Let's make our way. Sure, let's use the office. I'm impressed how easily you persuaded him. It suits in no small part to the efforts of your lordship. I wonder what else he could do for us. <laughs> Shall we go get going? See, it seems we came across this at just the right time. Se Secre Secretary Lucy is holding a meeting with the two Marquis. It doesn't look like it was about Operation Mill Mirage. Huh, how very interesting. Huh. She's in the office. This might be a good time to visit her. Uh, 
We actually gonna go do that? Go attend Makwa's office? Yes. Well, either way, save the game before we do anything else. Well, hello everyone. Who would have imagined we'd run into each other again so soon? Good to see you again, Lucy. Sorry if I interrupted your talk. I didn't mean to be a bother. Oh, don't be silly. You're not a bother at all. Besides, the things we're discussing here today affect you just as much as they do us. It's hard to argue with that. But putting that aside for now, I've been traveling a lot lately, so I picked up a very interesting novel to read in transit. It's said in Rem that so that immediately caught me out of my attention. That being said, would you mind taking this off my hands? My bags are heavy enough as it is. It would be nice to know I was going to a good home. Okay, sure, I can't wait to give it a read. Is this nines? Thank you for so much. Here you go. Yep, three and nine, chapter eight. Now, if I were Kayla, well, you would have to check to make sure the book wasn't bugged. But rest assured, I will give that every offer you will ever contain any sort of listening device. Huh, good to know, I guess. Thanks. Yep. This was literally all for three and nine. All right. <laughs> Seems like your transfer is confirmed, Warrant Officer Allen. I heard you'd been reassigned to Zauber Soldat Unit on the front line. I can't imagine General Greg or Lieutenant Col Colonel Nightheart are gonna be ha too happy about that. And it's a good thing I went over their heads and straight to the IDF for the transfer. Though it's technically not official until the war really starts. Why'd you bring it up? Are you looking for a transfer too? The 4th Division's not what it was. You'll never win any glory unless you're right in the thick of all the carnage. I, uh, I don't know, sir. Being on standby and keeping the peace is still an important job. I suppose there's nothing we can really say to convince you of that now, though. But we'll all be rooting for you anyhow. I don't need you cowards to root- <coughs> I don't need you cowards to root for me. I can't believe you'd throw away the chance to crush the Republic once and for all. Well, if you won't come, you won't come. I'll just have to take down that many more enemies in your place. The Republic streets will run red with blood for the glory of the Empire. So that Bridget and I might finally have a future. That that doesn't even sound like Alan anymore. That curse's influence over him must be getting stronger. I don't like this. Yep. That was I figured I'd come over here mainly because I thought I saw Alan in the distance. I figured I might get, get to see something interesting. That was right. Wait, the Death Linger is literally in the uh, Sutherland Field Camp right now. Huh. Hello and welcome to Lemurk. Is there any reason you're buried in books? Oh, don't mind me. Ever since the mastermind behind all this was revealed, I've been going over the history books. I never would have thought that the Ebon Knight was lurking behind all those incidents. However, if I reapproach these documents with the fact in mind, I can easily understand what the gnomes are thinking. I can feel all my doubts and questions melting away. Wow, that's, uh, great. Would you happen to know if any of the new information has turned up yet? As a matter of fact, yes, it regards the completion of the Great Twilight. But the Black Workshop is entirely unfit for this purpose since it is cut off from the Spirit Veins. They must have taken some special measures to fix that. And in contrast, we're trying to come up with a plan to strike that point. I see. Indeed, this is thanks to you all activating the Spectral Moon Mirror. I'm truly thankful. As an awakener, children of Thor's, take care of yourselves in the rest of your journey. Be well, thank you. Yeah, anything to buy? Uh, no, because I've gotten pretty much everything. God dang it. Oh, wait. I can buy the better half of this fishing pole. I can also get fishing bait. Along with the sorcerer and the swordsman. This got me a huge bit of Mira. But we get 38,800 back, almost 100,000 again. All's good in the world. I knew that those gnomes were good for nothings, but the moment they betrayed our clan and tried to lay their hands on a great one. But now it seems that the Dark Dragon's creation was just as much a disaster for them as it was for the rest of the world. Right, the Spectral Moon Mia showed us about the real mastermind is true. 
The gnomes have been through a lot. They may have lost the elder, but they lost the holy beast and of course their pride. The curse shackling them ensured that loss. Well, there's no reconciling them now. All that we can do for them is to oppose their plans at the very end. Yeah, not only to pay tribute to them, but also to prevent this world of ours from being destroyed. <laughs> all the, all the confidence of youth. You're welcome here anytime. I'll tell you all that I know about the other rivalry participants. Uh-huh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Level threes. No. I need your material. Which means I need to grind. God dang it. Well, at least I know that I have the items for them. I think I can get an attack three for somewhere. Possibly make one. Well, that blows. 